Someone's up there just hanging out. What's going on? Chara. Look alive, brothers and sisters. This one is in cahoot, cahoots with Notkin's crew. So tell me, old man, which side are you really on? Okay, so they're not with Notkin, obviously, and they don't like me because I am with Notkin. I'm on my own. What do you even want, big man? Have you come to drag us home? Tough luck. We're going home when we want and not a minute earlier. As I see it, there's a fight brewing here. What's the problem, kids? That's our great conflict, old man. The soul and the halves see our tower as the root of all evils, and we can't live without it. The tower makes people into super people. The soul and the halves would rather become mindless pets. Oh, so these people are from the tower, the Polyhedron. <clears throat> so if they want to be beasts, why are you the ones wearing the dog masks? For a good reason. These masks remind us we're still beasts, and the true humans inside us are yet to come out. They can't see well, are almost deaf, and speak only in gibberish. Lots of room left for growth. And what's with the four on one? First off, it's five on one and a half. He does have a half a soul more than ordinary folk. Second, we're not here to kick his ass. They're the ones keen on bashing us with clubs and worse. Us, we're a peaceful bunch. We fight only in self-defense. Why did you drive him up there like a cat up a tree? We're teaching him discipline. He should get used to heights. You don't mind if I go upstairs and talk to him too, do you? Go ahead, who's stopping you? See for yourself. The higher you go, the better it gets. I find the down below no less fascinating. Pfft, yeah, right. Have fun with all the stiffs and maggots around you. That's not all there is. Ooh. I saw the shiny sparklies. Any others? Yes. <clears throat> Smoky. So what did they tell you? Will they beat you if you get down? Hell if I know. Do you need help? We'll manage on our own. To be fair, it's beautiful up here. That's alright. All will be quiet when we gather at the station this evening. That's our no man's land. A good place. Yeah, I've heard. Stop prying. Grown-ups are not welcome where we gather. You ruin everything. Fair. <laughs> Fair enough. A button and some walnuts. Let's go to the top here, see what we hear. See if we hear something strange just like on the other one. Oh, yes. What was that? Almost like a distant train? It seemed a lot more... A lot more gentle than trains usually sound, though. getting late. Oh shit, my hunger's really high. And I have no food. Nope. Might have to buy something from the grocery store. Where am I going next? 
Let's go to the tower. Yeah. Morphine? I want that both for sleeping and also for giving to patients, so I think morphine's gonna be really important, actually. <clears throat> Two pieces of chalk for morphine. Thanks, kid. Oof, my exhaustion's so high it's showing up on screen. That's a bad sign. I have five fingernails right now. Uh, could trade walnuts and a button for a fingernail? Yeah. It's fair. Ooh. They have a higher price morphine compared to the person I just traded with. Hmm, I don't want to give away any needles. Man, what a serious face, huh? Looks like they want to murder me. Ooh, smoked fish. Seven. Heck yeah, I can get that. A couple of fishing hooks and a match. Raisins. A small sweet that wouldn't satisfy an infant. Nah, I think I'm good. <laughs> Safety pin. That's not one of the things I need to make the thing, right? Red thread, needle, and a cloth thing. No. Should be on the lookout for red thread. Because that I've seen before. Smoked fish. Mm. Well, actually, you know what? Two needles and a match for smoked fish. That's worth it. Damn, my hunger's really low now. Nice. I need to sleep soon or get, like, coffee beans or something. Springs for three. I could get a piece of apple or more morphine. Mm. I'll get an apple. I'll just save that for now. Oh, somebody gets a trade with. I love this. Metal scrap, four, egg, five. Okay. I hear you. We're about to ascend it. I guess I don't need to visit a grocery store now, huh? Although a grocery store might have coffee beans. Mm, but I don't need that right, right now. I want to meet these people first. My exhaustion's not going to get the better of me in the next, like, two minutes. Safety pins for immunity boosters, any of that? Nah. Coffee! Oof. I don't have anything convenient to trade them. Do I give up all my matches? Like one fingernail and three matches? I guess that's worth it. I mean, if I have to sleep, then I definitely can't do all the stuff I want to do. I think it's worth it. Coffee, the most valuable commodity in the game. <laughs> well, <coughs> well, that's probably food, but one of the most valuable. 
<clears throat> that increased my hunger a bit. I'm probably safe to eat the apple now. Yeah, wow, that didn't do that much. Ooh, smoked meat. That restores a ton. Um... That sound. That sounds like the sound I just heard at the top of that impossible structure. It almost sounds like a like somebody's skateboarding, you know? But I haven't seen any skateboards. I don't think that was a, that's a thing around here. Smoked meat for immunity boosters and a bandage. I think that's worth it, because it restores a lot. I'm going to get it. Oh, I can ask for a repair. Nothing I want to repair. Alright, someone, sh someone should be waiting for me. Sorry to hit. light. Oof. Fingernail for two fishing hooks. Heck yeah. That light is very disconcerting. They're the ones waiting for me. That sounds just coming from the tower. Up. Now, lend me your eyes and ears. We trust you, so we'll let you in on the game. The game? Yes, please do tell me. I remember the Schmouter mentioned uh, that it was for a, some sort of a game. That might be what they're talking about. Hmm. Whoa, sounds important. Very much so. We've never ever allowed an adult into the great game. It's forbidden. You'll be the first. No, or rather, the second. Believe me, we wouldn't invite you if not for that first one. Who was the first one? Maybe it was Isidore? What first one? The one. The one everyone's after. The person who's, well, the old man. I mean, your father. I mean, you know. Yeah, so it was Isidore. Have you, like, seen them? We've seen whatever they left in our game. That's enough. What game? So, let me explain. We have these caches, lots of them, all over the town. That's where we leave messages and gifts for one another. It's a test of intuition. If you find one, you get to the next level. It also tests greed. Whoever takes items without giving anything in return gets kicked out. Starting from this point on, right? Because I already took everything out of the last one. <laughs> but that's not important. Not what you should be thinking about. Hmm. So you have to give something in return? A test of intuition. So what, just like... You just have to kind of feel out what you think would be a fair thing to return to the the thing. Like, it's got to be a fair exchange, but you probably just want to take something out that you really in particular need and put in stuff that you don't need, but somebody else might. Um, what should I be thinking about, then? The murderer left some items tonight from the old man, bloody something, and a scary note, saying they know we'll try to catch him, that we're reading it, that they see all... It shook me in my boots. Where did you find those items? There are two caches nearby. The dam and the bowsprit. Go and you'll see for yourself. Only, if you take from a cache, leave something too. Respect the rules or it'll all go south. <laughs> Look at that little grin they're giving me. <coughs> I really hope that it is from this point on. Because I did take everything out of that one cache. 
Okay, two caches nearby Dam and Bow Spirit. I hope they mark that on the map. I do respect rules. I will follow them. The players already gather here in the stone yard. Next to the caches, I mean. They've already been to the middle town and the earth. Maybe they found something there, too. I believe three parties are already here. They might know more, but I don't know where they are. I've been standing here waiting for you to pass by like an idiot. Wait, maybe they... Wait, I believe three parties are already here. They might know more, but I don't know where they are? I don't understand. They're just somewhere in this district, I guess? Aren't there a couple people standing behind Pup, though? Is it not them? Three groups of kids scattered across the stone yard, huh? Got it. Oh, that's what it means. Oh, shit. Well, this is gonna be hard. Oh, even more to do. Um, woke up. Oh my god. There's no way. A children's stash is here somewhere, and more players of the game spend their time nearby. I should keep my eyes peeled. Hmm. <sighs> like, it almost looks like I could take this boat over to this boat, and I'd be so close to this, but there's no way from here to there. You can see the way it's marked. It's a pretty steep or rocky kind of thing. I have to walk from here. And then another one there. They didn't mark the one that I know is at the theater. So just those two, right? Okay. Okay. I need to go to the top of the polyhedron, don't I? I, sh I think I should do that right now. That's probably more important than the game, because I could always do the game later. But then I might not encounter the three groups of kids that know more about, uh, like, the message that the killer left. We might still have time. I don't think these things completely disappear until, like, 7.30 a.m. the next day or something like that. Oh, wait, are they not even going to let me up? Looks like it's blocked. Watchdog. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, big fellow, but we don't let just anyone in. I'm here to speak to Khan. Khan? What do you want with him? That noise. Is it the sound of that thing, like, creaking and twisting in the wind? Is this a lie or is this the truth? I don't remember if Khan said they wanted to see me. Um, it's him who wants to meet me, not the other way around. Ah, shit, that was a lie. We'd know if he wanted to see you. Know why you're all grown up? Because you forgot how to lie. There's an art to it. Shit. I'm not getting in, am I? Those are the rules. The tower's all ours. No adults allowed. So the tower's chock full of kids. We got some space left. There's only 700 of us. 700? What do you even do in there? You're asking too many questions. To hell with these games. Tell Khan I said hi. Shit. Khan barely leaves the new building across the river. I can't reach him. Well, I got rid of the mark, so it's not like there's something I could actually do to get up there right now. I just can't, which is kind of good for, uh, you know, time purposes. Thank God. Okay. Let's go. Mm. Should I go up here first or down here first? I guess I don't know if it really matters. Let's go up. I hope I have time. I hope I have time. I hope I have time.
apple for a bandage. Or a fingernail for an apple. Eh, nah. Trade a couple fingernails for more coffee? How am I doing on exhaustion? It's not that high. I'll be fine. Maybe. What are you doing in the corner like a creeper? Yeah, these kids with the red hair and the, the pigtails, they sell morphine for a lot more than some others do. A bar of soap in the trash. Trash soap. Hmm. I'm not sure how confident I'd feel about that cleaning me well, you know? Oh shit, I didn't want to go across the bridge. Whoops. It's so creepy the way the kids just stare at me with their heads cocked to the side. Spring for three. Yeah, like they sell morphine for six. That's a much better deal. I don't have the stuff to trade for that, though. We'll scrap for four. Nah. Where's the... Where's the pathway through the rocks to get there? The cape. Dream mistress's sleep here, I think it said? Wait, what the fuck? I'm getting all turned around. This is the way? It's so weird how easy it is to get turned around on Pathologic. Ah, here we go. Herbs. One hour until midnight. What is this? Fascinating. What is that? Oh, what's this over here? Counting broken eggs, broken eggs. Lark and counting. Chosen stones, chosen. Was it you chanting? We're talking. Ace, tread lighter, will you? Or you'll wake up the mistresses. Victoria would be fine, but what if you disturb Nina? <clears throat> I'm here about the caches. Yeah, we know. Sleepyhead told us you were in. Here's one cache. We found odd things inside. Play well, uh, play well, will you? Don't let us down. Um, I'm just gonna ask them how I play the game even though I kinda know, just in the hopes they might give me more information. How do we even play this game? It's a game of trust. Just figure it out as you play, and we'll figure you out. Everyone's wondering what the old man's replacement will be like. <coughs> Fair enough. We sometimes get together in the nutshell. It's like a place. We go there in the evening, in the morning, even at noon. All in all, we come and go as we please. If you get a lead, go to the nutshell, will you? You'll find someone there, eh? Eh. What? I, I don't know how to read that. Like, what feeling I was trying to convey. Eh? What just got marked? Wait, was there always a stash down there? No, I think they just told me about that stash. Did 
This is beautiful and fascinating looking. That's so cool. I wonder if there's going to be a message in this stash as well. Does that mark the stash? Like, follow that path? Ah, yes. That is so cool. Okay, needle, peanuts, walnuts, fingernails, revolver ammo. God, I'm so scared. I mean, I know not to take everything. Obviously, that's super obvious. They'll see me as greedy, they'll kick me out of the game, they explicitly told me that. But then what do I do? Fingernails would be good. I think I want some fingernails. What would be a good trade for that? I think they would love the schmouter. Did I look at the description for this? Smells like medicine. A dangerous idea for a game. Destroying this would be the responsible thing to do. <laughs> I'm not going to destroy it. See, I remember Schmouter in the original Pathologic was one of them. I think it was like one of the most important things to get. It was incredibly valuable and important. So I don't think I want to trade that. Even though it does explicitly say it's for the game. Um, I'm just going to be... Oh no, I didn't mean to take it all. Um, split. I got three, so... I'll take a fingernail for a metal scrap and a spring. That seems reasonable. Don't think anybody's going to get pissed at me for that. Thirty minutes till midnight. Well, twenty-nine. Whew. I mean, the most important thing it feels like right now is the caches, because that will lead me to more clues about the murderer, right? That's like really center in our mind, of course. Our father was just murdered. <clears throat> Let's go for this one. over. Some opportunities have been irreversibly missed. Others can still be seized. Several events will unfold this night and become unavailable by dawn. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. Thirteen people died over the past 24 hours. Seven people in the sea. The day is over. 
What just got marked? Okay, the stashes are still there. So it looks like as far as as far as the next day really starting at 7.30 a.m. Based on what it said, it sounds like some things as soon as midnight hits will become unavailable. So it's like some quests you won't be able to do, but other things you can still do them before dawn, such as the stashes. Oh, right. The performance of the theater has been put over there. Oh, right. I, oh, I totally forgot that step people meet at Sava's place after dark. There's so much to do. The end draws ever closer. Dad, you're creeping me out. What? Did something happen? A new pantomime is rehearsed at the theater. I'm actually just assuming that that voice is the same one as the one who's uh, reading the note my dad left me, which is obviously my dad's voice, I think. I'm not totally sure. I haven't heard it enough to really be confident. Almost there. Haha. This would be tricky to find if you weren't looking for it. Man, I could just walk out here into, like, the marshes, huh? Interesting. That could potentially be an important shortcut if I find myself out here or something. <laughs> right? Like, if... Um... Hmm. I was thinking if I take this boat, then it might be quicker, like, to go from here, across here, and up here to the polyhedron. But actually, I don't think I can cross this thing. I don't think that's a bridge. I think I'd be stuck on that side of the of the water. And have to go across this bridge up here. Anyway, uh, it is back here. Back here. Tricky, tricky. Tidy note. Okay, that is probably the message left by the murderer. He doesn't know about the station, I'm sure. So it's safe. Ginger's allowed today. I don't know, that just sounds like a message from one of the kids. I don't know if that's related to the murderer. He doesn't know about the station, I'm sure. Probably talking about me or just some other adult. So it's safe. Safe as long as no adults are there. Ginger's allowed today? People with ginger hair or just somebody named Ginger? You know what? I'm gonna make a note of these notes. I'm gonna copy them down just in case they all make sense in hindsight. There we go. Got it in my notes. Put it back as it says to do. Do I want to take anything from there? Mm, I'm just going to leave it. No time to dawdle. Let's go. Shit, that stash is on this side of the river, so actually I think I do need to go down to the marsh and follow it over there. Okay. Don't think I could reach it from the boat. As soon as you hit the step, you get that creepy ambience. Is this a lighthouse? Hmm. 
Okay. Well, nothing particularly creepy at the stashes themselves, but there's supposed to be kids hanging around that I'm supposed to talk to? Right? Where's that quest in my thoughts? Don't really see it anywhere here in the thoughts. I might just be missing it, though. I did notice this, though. I was totally missing this. Menku knowledge. Remember back when I was brewing tinctures and stuff? I kept gaining things in thoughts, but I couldn't find them when I went to my thoughts? They're all in here. Mm, I don't know. I'll take a... Uh, split one. Put that back. Trade that for... Uh, I don't know. Do kids like herbs? Herbs and a bar of soap? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I can't get across to the other side of the water. No. Shit. <laughs> the boat's right there. Ah. I have to go all the way around, don't I? Or do I? I... Mm. I might be able to cross around here. I might be able to walk across the marshlands. I think it's worth trying. I'm not sure I even want to go to the, build, the, the boat just yet. I think I might want to go to the performance at the theater. Maybe not. The kids are more important than watching a performance at the theater, right? So I should go to Vlad to try to unlock the Termitary to speak to Taya. Can I cross here? Oh, yes, I can. And there's herbs. A lot of herbs. That's good to know. If I went all the way around, I would have wasted a lot of time. 1 a.m. <clears throat> mm. mm. Yeah, forget the theater. Forget it. I'm going to Vlad's place. <laughs> 